Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Agriculture with Sameer. So in this video, we will be learning about one more relation function in intercropping system and that is land equivalent ratio. So in the last video, we learned about relative yield total and in this video, we will be learning about land yield ratio. So what is land equivalent ratio, LER? So let us learn what is land equivalent ratio. So we can call it is LER. So what is LER? So LER is generally used to measure the agronomic efficiency or agronomic efficiency of any crop. So why we use LER is just to compare the yields, the production and the productivity between two cropping systems. When a crop is grown in intercropping and when a crop is grown in some other system of cropping like monocropping or mixed cropping. So to compare what is the yield and what is the land used in proper land, what is the yield to calculate and to compare, we use LER. So this is mainly to find out the efficiency of intercropping system. So uh, before uh, calculating LER, we should know that uh, what is the main important thing that we should know about LER. So LER is mostly calculated for intercropping system because intercropping we calculate, we cultivate two to three crops in intercropping system. So just to know how much land used by the crops and how much could we have got if we grow the sole crop, the same crop, then we have to calculate LER. So now let us learn about the formula of LER. So LER equals to yield of crop A in intercropping system by yield of same crop A in solo cropping. So as I said, we have to compare the yields what is the yield of a certain crop? So here we have taken a crop A and we have to compare what is the yield or what is the difference between the yield. So what is the efficiency, more efficient or not? This system of intercropping is efficient or not, okay? So let us take an example and study this. Suppose here is a chart. Okay, so here we will take crop A crops and cropping system. Here yield. And here to yield. In tons per hectare. Okay, so this is a question or example you can say. How to calculate? So suppose we will take uh, wheat and uh, lentil and wheat plus lentil. So this is intercropping, this is solo cropping, this is solo cropping. So suppose, suppose we get the yield of uh, wheat 3 and uh, lentil 2 and wheat plus lentil if we get uh, uh, 3 and 3 okay. so now how we can calculate the LER of the system so this is a system where we have grown wheat and lentil two crops as solo crop and lentil crop and wheat plus lentil crop as intercrop so now we have to calculate the LER so how to calculate is LER equals to so yield of crop A yield of crop wheat LER of wheat we have to calculate LER of wheat so LER of yield of crop wheat in intercropping system that is 3. Suppose we take this 3 and yield of crop A in solo cropping. Suppose we reduce this to 2. Okay. So this is 2. 
then we get a value of 1.5 similarly we have to calculate the LER of flame gel LER of flame gel suppose we get here LER of flame gel is in integral pink we get 3 and in uh, as a solo crop it gets 2 and this is also 1.5 so this 1.5, this 1.5 determines that 50%, 50% is the extra efficiency of intercropping system. So when LER is equal to 1, then we can say when LER is equal to 1, we can say that the efficiency of both the system for the yield is same. So both the systems, in both the systems we get the same yield. So when the LER is more than 1.1, more than 1, if it is 1.5 here, so it determines that 50% is the extra efficiency of production in intercropping system than in solo cropping. Means in when we go for intercropping systems of wheat and lentil, then we get a 50% of extra yield with the same land, but here we may not get that amount of yield. So now we have to calculate the LER of the system. So the LER of the system is 3. So this value determines that the LER of intercropping system or the intercropping system's efficiency is much more than solo cropping. So when we grow wheat and lentil, obviously we are getting less yield in the one hectare of land. In one hectare of land, when we grow wheat and lentil, we get less yield, 2 and 2, 2 tons per hectare, 2 tons per hectare. So when we go for wheat plus lentil in the same one hectare of land then we are getting three and three tons both so this is the efficiency which is more than the efficiency of solar cropping so this is all about land equivalent ratio and its calculations so thank you for watching my video with patience keep liking sharing and subscribing